we're here one year later, nothing has happened, nothing has changed in one year. Um, and, and we're very disheartened by this. We think that the strength of public fe uh, feeling was there and people were really passionate about making sure that this didn't happen again and we've be been let down. You mentioned in your press release that you feel you've exhausted your options or you've done as much as you can on your side. Has there been any contact from those who you feel might be able to act on this? Uh, yes, um, we followed up with number six a, a number of times um, over, month, over recent months. Um, basically, uh, their response has been that they can't give us a comprehensive response to the documents we submitted and the petition uh, until the family's complaint, uh, which they made on, the, on their own behalf, um, to the courts, to the um, Admissions and Disciplinary Committee. Um, that, that complaint hasn't concluded yet. Um, that's something that the family was doing, separate to what we were trying to achieve, uh, which was to get this independent inquiry. On that point, we've had some loose statements uh, from the Attorney General, from the Chief Minister, just saying that everyone was satisfied. Look, the public aren't satisfied. Um, we have no faith in the justice system. That was evident um, in, the, in the march, in the petition. And what we don't want is for this to happen again, because it could. As you mentioned there, public sentiment towards the justice system has been affected by this outcome. Do, do you see that? Do you hear that from people? Yes, and I actually think that's growing. You know, um, uh, Gibraltar has always been seen as a safe place, but we are hearing of more crimes, some of them very serious. Um, and then uh, the system fails us. You know, uh, this case it was a very serious crime. We lost our friend uh, and she was let down. What we don't want is for this to be repeated and other families to have to go through what her family has gone. And the, it's very clear to us that the, the public don't have uh, faith in the justice system. Um, and everyone is sort of relinquishing responsibility. Um, and I think having this independent inquiry would really do a lot uh, to sort of appease the public and say, okay, this was done properly. Uh, we don't feel it was, but at least if someone independently could come and audit the whole thing and say, okay, yes, we hold up our hands, this was done wrong, this was done properly, at, at least people would have sort of a, a bit of faith, again, which is what we think is needed. And have your message for those who you say have relinquished the responsibility you failed to have? I, I, I really appeal to them that, that they, they've done nothing so far and this is really their chance uh, uh, to, to put it right, you know. Um, They've let the family down, they've left her, her friends down, they've left the public down uh, by letting this happen uh, and sort of just waiting for us to be quiet uh, and for it to blow over isn't really going to cut it.